Um, yo, did you get a chance to check out his album? His album was dope. I like a couple of joints off it. Um, of course, Gunner's album is amazing. It really is. Gunner, um, Gunner. You know, but people don't understand Thug has a lot to do with Gunner's album. You know, it's not just Gunner, you know. So so when you, people try to separate it, oh, Gunner's album is better than Thug. Thug, that's Thug's artist. So Thug, you know what I'm saying? And Thug is very much involved in Gunner's music. So um, they make amazing music and that's why this is so hard. That's why mm -hmm. this is so fucked up because they make amazing music. I'm sure it was like that for 50 cents, 50 cents, you know? Shit, everybody's saying he was a snitch and everybody's saying, I heard I heard 50's chain got snatched in, in LA. Did you hear that? Nah, uh, recently? Somebody, yeah, 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 it was about a month ago where one of his guys was wearing his chain and got taken. You know, he's keeping that real quiet, but they they, they didn't get the chain back. He it, it didn't get taken from him. It got taken from somebody he let wear it. But I, I referenced 50 because you know, people were saying what they wanted about 50, but 50's music was so amazing at the time, they didn't care about that. Remember when Ja was saying that he was on papers and they showed the paperwork, yeah. you know, but, but you know, music, amazing music stops everything. Look at R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? You know, you make amazing music, it, it takes people away from, you know, what people think of you in your personal life. That's yeah, for sure. You know, you know, you bring up some, some great points because, Gonna, I mean, we talked about this earlier. As part of his plea deal, he he out of his own mouth said YSL it, it, it's a gang, it's a criminal. And that and that and that hurt. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That hurt the situation because that the number one motherfucking thing, the number one thing they had was that they was a that they was a label, period. And that, that right there shows that, hey, we're a label, we're successful, we're not, we don't have to sell drugs to get money, we don't have to do all these crazy things. That's out the window now. When your number one artist is saying that they're a gang. See, they want to establish that first. First. Then everything else will just fall behind them. But, but you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to your point, I, like like dope music trumps everything because it, it was so much talk gonna snitch um people didn't know if 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 nobody would mess with this dude musically but the dude came out his, his album is dope it's a dope. lot of you, people don't care about that street shit they're not in the streets so they don't give a fuck about that look at six nine they don't care about that a lot of people ain't in that life so they have no they have they can't put that together how snitching hurts. They don't care. So, you know, I knew he was going to do good. Oh, I so knew. so you didn't think you didn't think his rap career was going to get hurt behind Hell that? no. Hell no. I knew he was going to be all right. Uh. I knew he was going to be all right. And, and, and you brought up R. Kelly. People forget R. Kelly. I mean, the dude was in a video. Like in a video pissing. Peeing on a little girl. Like, like, like you saw it with your own eyes. Yeah. It ain't like you heard this from somewhere else. That video circulated through the hood like crack cocaine. Everybody saw it. And everybody loved him after. Like, like when he beat that case, people did if if R. Kelly didn't jam himself up again. With 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 the, with with that little harem of chicks that he had, right? He 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 to be he to been home right now. Because if Bob Kelly came home tomorrow, he'd be celebrated. So you think you think with a, with a hit album, people would even forgive this chapter in his life? Yeah. Are you serious? People, people still listen to, to R. Kelly's music. Yeah, they, they might do. not be in public listening to it, but motherfuckers are still listening to R. Kelly's music every single day. Every day. Every nah, day I mean, somebody's playing R. Kelly song. Yeah, I mean, um, this dude, I was talking to my man earlier today, and, and he was talking about the Usher um show out in Vegas right now. And he was like, yo, I don't know if anybody outside of maybe Usher and Mary could do a show like that. I was like, yo, you forget, I, I know Kells is locked up. What? But... 
What? Oh, like, Kelly would have killed a residency. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. I still listen to all Kelly music. I can't front, man. No, so do I. I still listen to Fiesta and a bunch of other joints, man. I, I mean, shit, I listen to 50 Cent music, and we don't fuck with each other. Music trumps over everything. Music's a direct connection to your emotions, man. You can't help it. It is what it is. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.